Hello and welcome to Theme Park Information. In today's show, we're just going to be doing a slightly new segment, uh, which is to do with like the ride you find at theme parks and stuff like that. In today's show, we have got Drop Towers, uh, which covers a load of different ride types and varieties. Uh, they tend to actually be pretty terrifying, mainly because obviously the height and the fact that they obviously suddenly drop you down towards the ground. Uh, now, obviously, uh, these are generally really good for parks. They are, you know pretty terrifying, they count as a thrill ride, they take up a pretty small footprint as well, they have relatively solid capacity and they can be kept fairly simply, obviously if you are somewhere like Phantasialand you can go the extra mile and completely enclose it and theme it and put a story around it, amazing stuff obviously, uh, or you can just have it as like a like towering uh, sort of like structure. Uh, like uh, like Hansa Park does uh, with, um, <laughs> or as I said, you can always attach it to another coaster, <laughs> which is always a really interesting as well. Uh, sadly, I've only experienced one of those, uh, which is uh, Lex Luthor's Drop of Doom at Magic Mountain, but it was still pretty cool. Uh, I have also, by that logic, had experienced pretty much most of the tourist drop towers in the world. And as I say, you can either look at that as fortunate or unfortunate. As I say, they are always fairly nerve-wracking. They do just generally kind of unnerve you a little bit. Uh, as I say, just it's because of the concept. Obviously, they are really tall. They obviously play on that fear. Obviously, some of them, you know, will have it where the seats tilt forward slightly. So others, like, like you know, the ones at, which tilt you fully forwards, can be extra terrified, even though, actually, it's not too bad. Like, it's, you know, you would think it'd be far more unnerving than it is. My overarching thing of, if you go on one, it will give you such an adrenaline rush. It'll give you a proper boost. And they are really good rides for part because of that. Because, they take, as I say, they are fairly easy to operate, look really imposing, Generally speaking, you could do a lot with them, theming and like, you know, rise and stuff like that. The, I say, I've, for all be honest, I think my probable favourite of all time is the sadly closed Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. That was such a good drop tower. It was so forceful and fun and just gave you great airtime on the way down. While also being, you know, just really well named and themed ride. Uh, I'd say they are something that every park can really appreciate. Uh, I'd say there's not any overarching thing for this video, it's just making people aware of what parks have and if they're any good. <laughs> so if you, there's anything you'd like to think I like, can improve on or go into, maybe particular ride types or different designs or maybe like, you know, like facts and stuff like that, uh, we can pop into that in the future. I can always do a part two. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys on the next one.